What's up guys? It's the mechanic again. Today we're going to be learning how to install this navigator wheel in your Expedition or F-150. This of course will work <clears throat> in a 2000 to 2002 Expedition as well as 2000 to 2004 Heritage Edition but 2003 regular edition F-150s. Something that I'd just like to say is that if you are not installing the EATC controls shown there and gaining those, as you can see, I don't have EATC, so gaining those controls wouldn't do me much good. This job is actually very easy. In fact, the hardest part was actually figuring out that this horn wire, if I can get it to focus, on the Expedition has a blue and a orange slash dark green wire, whereas on the Navigator, it was a blue and black wire. The hardest part was probing the two black wires on the Navigator's connectors and figuring out which wire corresponded to the horn wire. One other thing to note is that all of these wires, except for that horn wire, are the exact same color on the navigator wheel. So even this horn connector is the exact same. Ford made it very easy for us to swap these wheels over. I've done a write-up on the Ford Truck Enthusiasts website, as well as the Expedition Forum, and I'll be linking that in the description. However, I took a video of me soldering the Expedition steering wheel buttons control harness to the Navigator's. So I will show you guys that now. Now I just have one more thing to say before I get into the video. Is that if your clock spring, if this white piece pops off, do not panic, okay? You just, there's a ribbon wire. You make it so that the smallest radius is in the inside and put it nicely back in. There's a little arrow somewhere on here on the expedition one there was an arrow and then there was a little ridge you want to line those two up and then press it back into place don't force it if it doesn't go in naturally do not force it now if you are installing the EATC and mock audio controls you will solder all of the wires except for focus except for the brown and the white and carolina blue wire it's a white and carolina blue wire not three wires just two all of these other wires they all correspond directly to the ones on the existing clock spring from there just follow my guide on the FTE or expedition forum post and you'll be good to go now let's get into the install of this beautiful wheel basically I need to I peeled back a little bit of this tape um, and here's the big moment of no return he's a big boy after this there is no going back. Literally, there's no going back. So, uh, hold on. Try and get this so I can get as much wire as possible. I can always snip off more if I need to, but I can't really easily, keyword, easily add any more. Um, 
kind of hard to add more wire when it's this small and that's the old one now I'm just going to uh, I just hate the tape stuff it gets so sticky and nasty so now I'm just gonna cut this off I guess I'll remove some more insulation so oh here we go <laughs> this is making me happy now because we got a little piece of it and it looks like uh oh it's not what I was hoping for I was hoping for it all to slide off there we go So now is the time for soldering. <coughs> soldering. Voice crack. So I'm just going to strip these wires back. Looks to be a super small wire. That is 24 gauge. So I'm just going to strip these wires back. Start tinning the wires of the navigator, steering wheel controls, and should be good to go after that. I just covered up the leather because I'll probably burn it. I'm not the best at soldering, but I'm not the worst. I do something that you're not really supposed to do, which is called paint soldering. It's just easy, because I have a not so good soldering iron, the Harbor Freight Special. So on this connector there's only one blue with red but on this there's two so I'm just I'm assuming that that's just a lighting uh, wire. So I'll just do this. Yeah. Lighting's not so important. So now I'm just going to uh joint up the wires and make some awesome joints.
Okay, so I'd just like to make one little, I guess, announcement. So the horn connector has two colors, one blue and one like orange and teal. Or orange and kind of kind of uh Florida colors like Florida Gators colors um now on the navigator its horn connector has black and blue so the blue obviously goes to the blue on this connector however you want a multimeter set either to resistance or continuity and what I just did you just saw me just probe And if it reads any resistance, anything that's not an open circuit, basically, then just um, wire this blue up to this black. Now, after you have done all the soldering, all you need to do is install the wheel and you should be good to go. Make sure to install the airbag before you connect the battery and test all the cruise control functions. Thanks for watching and happy wooden wheel.